brake band's unlocked, the energizer can move back and forth, and the band itself is not compressed on the inside of the synchro ring. The anchor block holds the brake band in place so that it can't rotate. As the slider slides over the synchro ring, the synchro ring rotates, comes in contact with the energizer block. The energizer block rotates slightly. Contacts the brake band and the brake band due to friction on the inside of the synchro ring locks against the synchro ring and locks the locks the synchronizer hub to the gear assembly and it happens in reverse as well as the synchro ring rotates the other direction this side of the brake band contacts the inside surface of the synchronizer ring and the friction locks it to the synchro ring which locks it to the sync the slider and locks it to uh, the hub and the gear assembly the correct assembly and orientation of the brake band uh, an easy way to remember is to orient the anchor block this topmost piece that uh, is fit on top of or, or with the synchronizer band orient that toward the top the anchor block toward the top and the shorter section of the brake band to the left and the longer section of the brake band to the right that is the correct uh, orientation for the brake band within the first gear uh, uh, synchronizer assembly The synchronizer is locked with the first gear synchronizer hub. The synchronizer can't move any further. Rotates the other way, connects with the other side of the brake band, and again gets locked into position.